Saddest of all keys, uh, but compulsory if you're a bass player. Uh, uh, welcome all about the bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today we are looking. At, what are we looking at, Lee? I'm going to oh. say because it's traditional. Now. <laughs> it what is. are we looking at today, Lee? We are looking at two elite P basses um, with two different sets of strings on. Oh. oh. We uh, thought we'd just go through just yeah what a flat round versus round round bass string sounds like on exactly the same bass. Yeah. Well, this was interesting because we did um, a, a video a little bit earlier um, where uh, we had three basses on the go actually, and one of them was a very nice Pino Palladino yes, signature yes. Uh, P bass that had flat round strings on it, right? Because I guess that's his thing, is it? He is. Pinos. Yeah. Is yeah. that his signature? Yeah, that's it. Oh, they, well, they, yeah, the Fender Custom Shop signature comes like that with this with the strings that he uses as well, and it's yeah, he's just preferred that. That flat round feel and sound over the years. And, and after so when I picked it up, I thought, oh, I, I, I like this. this yeah. Is, this is nice. Yeah, and you said you've you, played a fretted bass with... I've never played a fretted bass with... Flat round. No. Yeah. There's a lot of things I haven't done, and that's one of them. <laughs> um, Tick. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Tick. I, I can die happy now. <laughs> um, and I, I thought it was a, it's just a really interesting, different... Yeah. A tonal departure. Yeah. And it feels a bit different. I kind of like the way it feels. I, yeah, it's kind of nice, it, yeah. you know. And also, it's almost like you've got a bit of a mute going on the strings. Yep. Yeah. Um, a little so, bit more of a, like, yeah. say, quick decay to the, to the so sound. So, we, we thought we'd uh, share that with you good people at home and just, just show you the difference. Just you. And uh, so, it kind of made sense to get two bases that were the same, which oh. is this. Which is, what is this? Uh, this, is, uh, this is an American Elite um, so uh, Fender P bass. Okay. So uh, yeah, so this is like the top of the top when it comes to their American production line. Yeah, they're but. different colours, so I don't put that in your comments. Uh, but the <laughs> oh, idea is right. Does champagne metallic sound different to but, sunburst? But the internals, right, are exactly the same. All the, and the yeah. bases are built the same and stuff. So um, yeah, so we just thought let's do let's do a direct AB comparison on um, on on the difference between round wound strings mm -hmm. and flat wound strings on the yeah. same bass. So this is where we are. Yeah. Shall we? Right, actually, before we get started, we need to plug into the same amp. Are we going to do that? Yeah, we're going to do the AB. This AB. Okay. Let's do A, Let's B, do C. It. See you in a minute. Okay, we're Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, with a bit of magic. Yes. We now have some fancy switching system. So we're both going through the same amp. You've yeah. got some signal. Oh, I've got some signal. So what we're... And I've got some signal. So what we're going to do is be uh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up already. It's all good. Um, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of play the same thing, and we're going to switch backwards and forwards. We're going to start off with the back pickup, then we go to the front pickup, and we're going to do both together. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how different they sound. Yeah, so round rounds. If at all, they better do. Flat rounds. It's a complete waste of time. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh yeah, flat rounds, round rounds. We'll start off with the flats. Cool. But uh, uh, let's do it. Uh, do, 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 uh. Something like that. There we anyway, go. Anyway, so you get the idea. Oh, that's made me sweat. 
<laughs> Mate, you swear she got f***ing tapped. I was like, oh, man. Oi! Oi! I'm sorry. Is that for that? <laughs> sorry. Tap and I was good. Well, <sighs> so uh, that was uh, that was pretty interesting. I thought. Great. That's what did right. you think? Okay, so you can definitely. I feel a little bit more warmth from that. Like you, you said before. Yeah, obviously, right? a little bit of that bottom end it's, coming it's, through. It's, it's not surprising, is it? We got. But this is brighter. Yeah. As you would expect. But what I didn't expect was this has got more. It seems to have more lo- bottom end. Yeah. Low end. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. If I give it one, it. So we do. Right. There you go. Where what what are you on? What I'm on. Just, just do front pickup. Front pickup. Yeah. Front pickup. Yep. Front pickup. It's sort of all that sort of it's warm. rhythm. Yeah. And slightly muted. I'm getting that. Yeah. Well, I'm doing that, obviously. But it's really muted. <laughs> but just generally playing it is it doesn't have the same sustain. Yeah. You've got a quickness to the note where yeah, it's And yeah. uh, I, I kind of like it, I have to say. Uh, Do you want to go? Is, oh, oh, yeah, go on then, go on then. Right. Oh. I did have a little squeeze. A little squeeze? A little squeeze. What does that mean? Well, uh, I don't know, actually. It does feel really nice. I'm on front pickup. Front pickup, tone on. Oh, it's another quick one. Obviously, these are active bases, but we have got them on passive. Good so shout. We're not getting any of the active uh, jiggery pokery. This is purely passive uh, and just with the tone all the way up. So, all yeah. we're changing is the pickups here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is lovely, man. Yeah, sorry. Oh, 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 oh. That's when you're going to want, say, probably that that round round sound, especially for the slap. But because, oh, hang on, oh yeah, it's nice but, actually. But I kind of like that with with the slap. That's a bit more sort of Larry Grahamy. Do you know yeah, what I mean? probably. Yeah, probably people. Well, so. might, not Larry Graham per se, but kind of a, a more old school. Yeah, kind of slap with that, sound. That's sort of dentist to that. Yeah. In the old days when they didn't use so many <laughs> top end no. or, or HF drivers in their cabs and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Just all the warmth. But yeah. yeah. Man, man, I'm I'm intrigued actually because I've played. I've also got fretless. Um, played flat wounds on a fretless as well. You know, I played round wounds on a fretless uh, uh, and done that way. But I've never actually put round wounds on a fretted bass of mine anyway. And this is it's nice to feel this. It's and, and even just the movement around the bass as well, right? I know it's not the and you, you get calluses that will build up to go against the round wounds. But like actually, well, they, they do obviously because you have less resistance. Yeah, because the, these round around. wound strings, it's like every, every wind is like a, a little sort of uh, indentation. So, and there is sort of a natural friction that you get off of that string. Whereas yeah. of course with these, you don't get anything like as much. Sliding of it. all over the place. Yeah, and it's nice. It's lovely. Yeah. Oh, well, so there we, go. there we are. I think we've decided that we quite like that, don't we? Oh, yeah, I quite like this. Yeah. And if but it's good enough for Pino Palladino, it's good enough for us. Yeah. Hey, Pino. Yeah, he's got his own signature Come get involved, man, if you're watching. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good on you, Pino. Too nice right. one. And, uh, yeah, listen, uh, I, d- try it at home. Try, try it out. Please. We're using, just so you know, I mean, these are rotor sounds, weren't they, man? The jazz bass, flat wound, yes, yeah. flat wound strings. Um, so there are, that's, that's the main brand we keep as well. I think we do some Fender, um, when we got them in as well, sort of flat mount stuff. The Dario do some stuff well, as well. Well, so. everybody makes them, right? Yeah. Every, every string manufacturer will, will make flat mount strings. Yeah, that's it. Um, um, Rotor Sound being one of the first. Or the first. One of the first. Were they? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. But, but yeah, man, say, just, say, get your, um, just experiment. This is like about, say, just a base you might have already always known. Just change it up. Change it up, give it a go, see what you get out of it. Yeah, that's a good I'm idea. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and on that and on bombshell, that. <laughs> uh, oh. yeah, well, there you go. There's, there's nothing more to say, really. There's not. We've done the experiment. Done it. It was great. I hope you I'm enjoyed sure you it. enjoy it. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. Well, good. Yeah, man. No, I'm, I'm liking that I can see this time. <laughs> anyway, listen, enough of that. Um, this has been All About The Bass. I've been Nathan. I've been Lee. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, join us next time for some more nonsense. Bye. <laughs> there you go. Nice.